and this is the cheat sheet for Monday, November the 7th. Okay, so how tablets are changing traveling. 67% of frequent travelers own tablets. And 67%, all of them basically, of uh, frequent travelers that have a tablet use it on a regular basis to make a booking. Um, years ago, I had my laptop and I was on the road. I stopped in a town unexpectedly and I needed to spend the night. I wasn't happy with the hotel uh, fares I was taking a look at around me. So I went to a McDonald's, used their free Wi-Fi, and then Priceline, what I thought was a reasonable rate for a hotel room around me. Well, that's a complicated thing. These days in the era of tablets, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just punch it up on your tablet. And a lot of people are doing that. If you have to travel on the go and you need to book arrangements and you're looking for good prices and everything, well, now you can literally do it from the lobby of the place you want to stay and get a better rate than just going up to the desk and getting a night. Uh, beyond that, have you thought about it for the holidays? It's an easy way to keep the kids in line, and especially with like the uh, new uh, Kindle Fire, the $200 model. You put that in your kids' hands while you're taking the road trip. You keep them pleasantly distracted, and when you get where you're going, kids are entertained, and you can actually spend time enjoying your family rather than yelling at your kids the entire time. Uh, so I have a bunch of information about how uh, tablets are changing traveling. Uh, here's, a, here's an interesting one for you. U.S. Cellular, they turned down the iPhone. U.S. Cellular is a regional carrier, not in our area, but in the South, and uh, they actually turned down the Apple iPhone. You're going, why the heck? I thought people fought over the rights to carry it. Well, that has been the case, but Apple forces these service providers to buy the phones from them up front at full price, then turn around and sell them to you, usually for that $200 for a base model number, uh, over the course of two years you then they make their money back on the service contract so they lose money up front on these US Cellular apparently did not have the money to lay out for these phones and yet they went public with this anyway I'm not sure what they expected to gain I bet a lot of their customers are not too happy with them that they don't have the choice okay so in the 2012 reliability ratings we had recently uh, we ended up seeing Ford take a dramatic dip turns out that one of the biggest problems was the My Touch system. You know, this is the answer to OnStar that has a lot of cool features in it, but the problem was it's super buggy. It's not working well. Well, Ford has said that they are working on a fix and are going to have an update, probably no later than February. They're going to issue flash drives to everyone who has purchased one of their cars. Uh, you'll plug that into the car. It'll update and fix any problems that are on uh, your My Touch system. The problem is, if you want to use that for the holiday traveling season, in the meantime, you might want to have backup for your GPS, just in case. By the way, I want to thank the uh, folks at Feasts of Little Italy over the weekend, my charity, Junior Achievement. Thankfully, I did not stink this year. I finished tied for second, so it's $500 to them. Congratulations to Tim Allen Walker and to Virginia, who are just down the hall from me here in our building. They ended up winning big time for a little smiles. It's a cheat sheet for today. See you tomorrow.